Okay. Hi, everybody. It's the tree. Um, I know that the information that I'm putting out about the health angels um, and what I found out from Pee Wee, the Las Vegas health angel, is really um, it's a big deal. And I know that Pee Wee has known about me for over 10 years. And him being such of a high-level health angel that he is and knowing about me, there's no way that he would have told me these things like he did unless he knew that I was going to tell you guys. <clears throat> and um, like I said, he said that him and Troy are butting heads because, you know, there's just this internal conflict in the club. And, um, you know, and he's like, he told me, he's like, treat child pornography and the health angel should not be used in the same sentence. And I totally agree, you know, and, um, and plus, you know, I told him that, you know, if they're involved, I'm going to nail them to the cross, basically. You know, when I went to the clubhouse on their church night, and um, I now know for a fact that house angels are not involved in child pornography. Thank God. Um, but 1% is. It's the leader. The leaders. And, um, like I said, PB told me that a bunch of Hells Angels want Dave Burgess to kick out of the Hells Angels Club, and um, Troy Reedus won't kick him out. <clears throat> and also, you know, there's no glory for the Hells Angels anymore. You guys can't, you know, ride around and flash your colors like you used to. You know, it should be like you guys should ride around like a parade. And the people, you know, will all be coming out of their houses and, you know, standing on the sidewalk throwing you flowers and, we love you, we love you, you know, but love you for what? Your name, your fame is in the name. Your fame is in the name. Okay? And you should not be ashamed to be Hells Angels, and you should not be forced to um, do things that would affect your freedom and um, your own reputation, you know? And um, you should also be able to enjoy the glory of the club, you know? And... As long as you guys are under Troy Regas, then you're under the child pornography ring. And you can't even go on the internet and look up the Hells Angels without hearing child pornography, child pornography, child pornography. But now, Pee Wee came forward and told me that him and a bunch of Hells Angels think Dave Birch is guilty of child pornography and told me that... Um, Dave Burgess tried to make or made sexual advances on Pee Wee's daughter a long time ago when she was a minor. And Pee Wee would have to have known that by telling me that I'm going to tell you, that's just what I do. You know? And I haven't talked to him in like three weeks or something because where I'm staying, I lost my place and I don't have a job right now. So now I'm having to stay somewhere where I don't want to be with an ex boyfriend that is so obsessive and controlling over me. I'm not allowed to do anything or go anywhere. And anything. I mean, I'm like in prison here. I feel so good about that. So I can't just go over to the clubhouse or try, you know, or go and see or talk to Pee Wee or anything like that, but know that Pee Wee is not the enemy against the Hells Angels, and what he told me is not to do anything against the Hells Angels. He told me the truth because he knew that I would, well, I can assume that he would know that I was going to tell you guys and clear the Hells Angels' name because the Angels, the Hells Angels, you guys can go down in history. You can be legends. Songs and stories will be written in your name. The fame is in your name. Use that to your advantage. And any of you that are in the Hells Angels that have enough courage and enough honor and enough heart to stand up and be counted can pretty much create your own, your own divine archetype, your own character, a divine archetype, you know, and become famous not just for being a Hells Angel but for who you are. And right now, um, you know, basically the Hells Angels are going to have to decide what side they're on. You know, if you guys are going to be on Pee Wee's side or if you're going to be on Troy's side. Um, but if you're on Troy's side, then you're involved in child pornography and murder and snuff films and kidnapping and Satanism <clears throat> and stuff. Uh, you know, but there's also, one of my friends brought this up to me today that there might be another way for you guys to take over the club because see, Troy Regis, he bought the club. I don't know if the Hells Angels was a corporation before Troy got a hold of it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to find out about that. I'm not sure if it was 
a corporation or not, but now it is a corporation, and Troy Regas owns that corporation and Dave Burgess, but Dave Burgess got, Troy Regas totally set this dude up, and I've known this for a long time. This isn't because of anything Pee Wee told me. This is stuff, my own information that I found out. You know, um, so Troy's in charge of everything right now, and he's got billions of dollars. When I say billions, I'm not exaggerating. He is so rich, you know, but is there a fund, you know, so if one of the Hells Angels gets in trouble or needs the help of the club, the club, there's a, a pot, you know, where the money comes out and takes care of him and looks out for him? Did, Troy Riggs didn't even get Dave Burgess a lawyer. Check that out. And Dave Burgess was the world president of the Hells Angels who was put in prison last year for tens of thousands of pictures of children being raped and molested. Child pornography. Um, you know, so this is your time to shine, Hells Angels. This is your time to really shine and be famous for whatever you want to be famous for. You know what I'm saying? But, and also, your safety is in the spotlight. Okay? And um, plus, most of you Hells Angels don't even know about what's going on. Because like I said, um, Troy Regas is doing this child pornography ring um, only through a f not many Hells Angels, like hardly any at all, maybe just a couple. But, you know, through the Confederation of Clubs, certain people in certain clubs, but the numbers are real small. But the ones at the very top, I guarantee, were Troy Regas, his mom, Yvonne Regas, and his sister, Ingrid Regas, running Child Pornography International, Human Trafficking, Snuff Film, Kidnapping Ring. And so, therefore, um, you know, any of you that are involved, well, it will be up to you what you do and what side you take. Um, but I can't see anybody being involved in that that doesn't want to be. But like I said, most of the health angels don't even know what's going on. Okay, they don't even know anything about this. And they've been hating on me for thinking that I'm trying to bash their name, you know, uh, with the child pornography. But I had to find out. And I've been on this for, for over 15 years I've been doing this. And, you know, Pee Wee had enough guts, enough guts and enough courage and enough love for the club and for his brothers stand up and tell me what's going on so that I could tell you because well you know look at it from his situation you know what's he supposed to do you know because he, he they want to stay house angels he wants to stay a house angel he don't want to have to quit the club Troy bought his rank Troy is the one who is at the top and in charge Troy Regas is and Pee Wee's been a house angel a lot longer than Troy Regas and so has a lot of house angels been house angels a lot longer than him Troy bought his way in like a football player, if somebody comes in with $5 million and gives them $5 million so they can be the quarterback, you know, it, it don't fly. So now you guys, help, you house angels are taking your orders from him and worshiping him and doing your, you're like slave labor. You're being used like slave labor. There's no money to protect you in case you get in trouble. There's nobody backing you up. There's nobody, um, uh, you know, helping you to dignify your um, crown and your throne so that you can be you can be honored and, and and it's not fair that all the health angels have been connected you know like I said go on the internet and search health angels you're the first thing you're gonna see is child pornography child pornography you know and, and a lot of it's been me out there making a lot of noise and stuff because I needed to know but now I know because Pee Wee had enough guts and enough courage and enough love for his brothers and enough respect for everybody to tell me the truth you know but like I said people are afraid of Troy and um and plus, you know, at this point in time, Troy could kick Pee Wee out or kick anybody out. You know, and they don't want to give up being a house angel. They don't want to give that up. They want to be house angels, but really be angels in health. So each one of you house angels out there, listen to me. This is your chance to shine. This is your chance to shine. Okay? Either you're back in Pee Wee or you're back in Troy. You know, but Pee Wee has taken the um, responsibility upon himself. It, well, obviously, by telling me this to, um, you know, make it public that the Hells Angels are not involved in this child pornography. Thank God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so, really, I didn't know for sure, but now I know for sure. And, um, hang on, i got to see how many minutes I have left because I have no camera people because I have any friends. <laughs> Okay, so I only have like 10 seconds left, um, but I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to, to help finance what I'm doing, you know, 
I'm going to be selling like all the hard copies of all my videos that I've ever put on YouTube and the ones that have been deleted and everything. Um, there's like 75 videos, the hard copies, and they're going to go down in history. They're going to be worth a lot someday, probably. Um, because we're going to go down in history. We're going to make this. Okay, I'm out of time. I love you. I'll be back. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you guys so much. I love you so much. Mwah.